Are we ready to learn about 10 times table today? Let's get started. Can you remember how to count in tens? Let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120. Well done, you just counted in tens. Now Mrs. Mitchell, has got two hands on her picture in front of you. We both, we all have two hands. Now, I want you to put your hands in front of you and look at the, the screen and at your fingers. And we are going to count in ones, starting at your pinky. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, if we do times tables, we go all the way to number 12. But I've got no more fingers for 11 and 12. <gasps> Mrs. Mitchell has an idea. We can use our palms. Let's have a look. On my left hand, I'm going to use put 11 in my palm. And on my right hand, I'll put number 12. Problem solved. You don't need to use your legs and arms or anything. Now, when I count in tens on my fingers, I can start at my pinky again. And I can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Where would 110 go? On my palm, 110, 120. So, if you are stuck and you need to work out what, for example, 3 times 10 is, you can quickly put 3 fingers in the air and you can count in 10s. 10, 20, 30. How easy was that? Let's see, what is 5 times 10? How many fingers will I put in the air? Show me. Yes, 5. Everybody put 5 fingers in the air. Let's count in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Easy peasy. 5 times 10 is 50. Let's do 7, uh, seven times 10 quickly. How many fingers in the air? 7. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 7 times 10 is 70. So that is a quick, easy way of how to use your fingers to count in 10s to get your 10 times table. But now let's see how we would do it in our books. Okay, the first one I'm giving you is a number sentence. One group of ten. What does that mean? That means we have to make one group. Mrs. Mitchell just did one group. There's one circle there. And one group of ten means we have to put ten objects or the number ten inside my circle. I decided on stars. Let's count 10 stars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I've got 10 stars in my one group. So what number will I write underneath? 10. Because I've got 10 stars in my one group. So what would my times table sum look like? Ah, like that. So 1 times 10 equals 10, meaning my one group, my one circle, times 10 stars gives me 10. 1 times 10 equals 10. Let's look at another one. Two groups of 10. So how many circles will Mrs. Mitchell draw? Good. Two. Let's have a look. One, two. I've got two green circles in front of me. How many stars will I put in each circle? Very good. Ten. Let's put ten stars in the first circle. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten stars in the first circle, so I'm going to write the number ten down now. Ten. Now I need to put ten stars in my second circle group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much do I plus now? Plus 10. So my repeated addition sum will be 10 plus 10. What is 10 plus 10? Let's count in 10s. 10, 20. My answer will be 20. But what does my times table look like? 2 times 10 equals 20. So 2 groups times 10 stars in each gives me 20. So 2 times 10 equals 20. Good. Another one. Three groups of 10. How many circles? Shout it out loud. Yes. Three circles. One, two, three. How many stars do I put in each circle? Good. 10. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will write down what number? 10. Very good. Second circle. We're going to count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus 10. Very good. My last circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My last sum will be plus 10. So my repeated addition sum is 10 plus 10 plus 10. How many 10s are there? 3. How many circles are there? 3. So that means my time table sum will be 3 times 10 equals 30. Let's count in 10s. 10, 20, 30. My answer is 30. So 3 circles times 10 stars in each circle gives me 30 altogether. Good. Now, this is a harder one. I'm going to ask you to try and do this one by yourself, but I'm going to give you a guideline. So, five groups of 10. How many groups are you going to draw? One, two, three, four, five. Quickly draw five groups. Pause the video. Good. Now, how many stars am I going to put in each? Good. Ten. And the first one. So, I gave an example. So, pause the video and now go do ten circle. Sorry. Ten stars in each circle. Pause the video. Start. Good. You are finished. Let's see. So, your, your, your page must look like this. Ten. So you've got 10 stars in the first one, and then 10 number at the bottom. Another 10 stars, plus 10. Another 10 stars, plus 10. Another 10 stars, plus 10. And another 10 stars, plus 10. If you didn't do that repeated addition at the bottom, it doesn't matter. Pause the video and quickly go. Write 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Plus 10. Good. Now, let's count in tens, because what will my answer be? Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many stars do we have? Good, 50 stars. Let's look at our sum. 5 times 10 equals 50. Good, so if I had to write my times table, it would be 5 times 10 equals 50. Pause the video and quickly write that down. Good. My last one we're going to do is six groups of ten. So you're going to draw six groups of ten. Pause the video. Good. It looks like this. Now you are going to do how many stars in each group? Good. Ten. I want you to do that. Mrs. Mitchell is not going to explain to you what to do or uh, give you the answer. You're going to do the answer yourself. So it will be 10 stars. Then you're going to do the repeated addition at the bottom. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 
you're going to do how many groups times 10 is your answer. How many groups do we use? Yes, 6 times 10, 6 groups. The Sorry, this is the last one. The last one we're going to do like this is 10 groups of 10. So here we are going to draw how many circles. Good. 10 circles. Then you're going to do repeated addition and then your times table sum. You're going to do this yourself. I'm not going to give you the answer. Good luck. Pause the video. Okay, so now we saw how we get to a times table sum. So we can use groups, we use repeated addition, and then we get to our times table sum. Now we are going to look at what our times table is going to look like. Say it with me, and the answer is going to pop up on the screen. Are you ready? Let's go. 0 times 10 equals 0. 1 times 10 equals 10. 2 times 10 equals 20. 3 times 10 equals 30. 4 times 10 equals 40. 5 times 10 equals 50. 6 times 10 equals 60. 7 times 10 equals 70. 8 times 10 equals 80. 9 times 10 equals 90. 10 times 10 equals 100. 11 times 10 equals 110. 12 times 10 equals 120. Now, I want you to try and go right out the times table on a piece of paper. You can go back on the video and look at how Mrs. Mitchell did it. So start at 0 all the way to 12. 0 times 10 equals 0. And then the last one will be 12 times 10 equals 120. Good luck and I hope you learned something new today.